Flash games are great, because even though there are a whole lot of them that are just really bad, the sheer amount of them means that there are still a whole lot of good ones that you can get on the internet for free. Unfortunately, Flash is just a really unstable program, and it was super insecure, and it would crash a lot, and it would give you viruses, so Adobe eventually had to shut it down. Now, this doesn't mean you can't still play these games anymore, you definitely can, it just means that they aren't updating it anymore, which means it's gonna get progressively more unstable and insecure as time goes on. And since this is technically the death of Flash, I had the genius idea of making a Flash games tier list. If I forget a really prominent Flash game, or I just don't rate one of those games the way you wanted me to, uh, please don't get mad at me. This is, after all, just my opinion, and these are just games I recall being popular. Okay, I'm ready to start the list now. <laughs> Alright, a lot of you guys didn't like me using DuckDuckGo in the last video, so I'm going to be um, nice to you guys, and I'm going to use Google this time. Let's see. No, I don't want the run movie. Run. Game. Yeah, I miss DuckDuckGo. Oh, wow. It's been a while since I've been on here. Allow Flash. Yep. Is this a bad idea? It might be. Uh, hmm. Should I do Adventure Mode, Infinite Mode, or Edit Mode? I have no idea what these are, um, I'm gonna do adventure mode, cause I'm pretty sure that's just the normal game. Wait, why is the audio muted? One second. Unmute. Ooh. Run always had good music. It did. Yeah, killer soundtrack on this game. Uh, wait, what's quality settings? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that was- that was all interesting and stuff, it's like the, the normal run game, but what I'm really interested in is edit mode here i'm just gonna test it out how do i how do i test out my level how do i test out my masterpiece wait 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 can i actually oh wait play test that's okay okay so i can i can make my own levels for run let's try out run two now watch ad to play big screen this wasn't here before what's this i'm i'm clicking it okay so it looks like they just put in a button so that like you thought you could do that but you actually can't that's that's a very interesting choice ah wait what did i do why is there a graph i don't want the graph there we go yeah i do i do like the the platforming in this oh gosh this music does not sound good i'm sorry i'm gonna have to turn it down a little of all the run games, I feel like this one is the most distinct gameplay-wise. The music, not so good. And no level editor. The level editor was pretty cool, even if I didn't really use it a lot. Let's try out run 3 now. Wait, what? Did it save my game data from all the way back? It saved my game from all the way back when. That's crazy, okay. Ooh, ah. This guy jumps high. Is this game even flash? I don't know if it is. If you ask me, like, Run 3 is like a realization of everything the previous games tried to do. Alright, Run 1 is a pretty good game by Flash standards, although I don't really see the point of playing it instead of one of its sequels. Maybe the level editor, but that's all I can think of. I'm gonna put this at C tier. Run 2 innovates on a lot of the things that made Run 1 so great. Um, so I'm gonna put it at B tier. However, just think to yourself for a second. Why would you ever play either of these games instead of playing Run 3? Unless you happen to be making a YouTube video where you're playing a bunch of old video games that people probably don't remember anymore, I don't see much of a point in playing Run 1 or Run 2. Run 3 is just such a refined version of everything those two games try to be. To be honest, I didn't consider putting this at anything besides S tier. It's just everything you could ask for in a Flash game, you know? It's simple, it's memorable, and whatever I play next, will probably be overshadowed by it. Yeah, I, I recall Duck Life being a fun game. I don't recall it being like my favorite or anything, but it was definitely fun. So you own a huge farm and are making tonanes of money, when one day a tornado comes along and destroys it all. <gasps> the only thing that survives is a single duck egg. So now you have to train this duckling into a racing duck. That's the only thing I can do with this duck. There's nothing else I can do to make enough money to rebuild the farm. Oh, am I British in this game? Those are pounds. Okay, I remember how to do this now. What I do is I, um, I train the duck.
Is clicking the only way I can jump? Uh-oh, there are two of them now. Uh-oh, they're, they're getting faster. Ah! Aw. Running level 21. I mean, you can't argue with the results. You know? This seems like the easiest one. Uh-oh. I thought I could go over it! I get stuck on, like, the tiniest thing. This is very hard when you're only using a mouse pad, and I can't use, like, an actual mouse, because I have my mic plugged into my USB. What? No oh, that was close. Yeah, very interesting how they have the coins inside of the island, like, where I can't get it. Uh, that's a very interesting gameplay decision. This game does get very boring just because there are only three mini games and that's all that you do. Shallow Lake. You got this! Yes! Beat- beat the other ducks. Yes! Yes! He is winning! He won! Yay! Yay, me! I'm so proud of myself for winning in a beginner race in a game nobody plays anymore. The other birds are so slow. My duck has a flat cap now. I bet your duck never had a flat cap. Are those things boulders or are they logs? I don't know. They don't look like either. Yeah, so I'm gonna be in last right now, yeah. But patience. Aw, oh, look at the losers. What losers? It looks like he's listening to techno or something. Like, just bobbing his head like he's listening to music. Hi everyone, it's me but from editing. Unfortunately, I can't show you any more duck life because I may or may not have accidentally closed out of that chrome tab and I don't think I can play it anymore. You'll find out why a little bit later in the video, but first... <laughs> I feel like Duck Life has a really cool idea, but it's not pulled off that well because the only two things you can do in this game are train and race your duck, and that gets boring really fast. I'll put this game at D tier. They might fix that in the sequels, but I don't want to cover those in this video because this video is probably going to be long enough as it is. So for now, I'm just going to move on to the next game. I'm not going to do the annoying suspense strike sound effect anymore because that joke has overstayed its welcome. I know when a joke gets old. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, my mic just fell. Red ball. Math playground. Ooh, that sounds like a cool math games ripoff if I ever heard one. We're sorry, but Flash games are no longer available. Math playground has more than 400 games and activities that are compatible with all devices and browsers. New games added every month. Wait, I think I did this back in third grade, actually. Redball4.com. Why? Why does Redball4 want to know my location? Why would Redball4.com need to know my location? No. Um. Ew, what is that? What have they done? Oh boy, squiggly games. All right. Get Adobe Flash Player. Adobe Flash Player EOL general information page. Uh, no longer supports Flash. Eh, as you probably know, most browsers are no longer supporting Flash games. Uh, I, I may or may not have not realized that. Wait, so can I just not play Flash games anymore? Red Ball requires a .swf play, yeah. You actually can't play Flash games anymore. Remember when I said you could play Flash games in the intro? Uh, ignore that. Mmm. Shady download? Fast and secure, trusted by top gaming sites. Keep all your favorite web games. It's a bad idea. I know it's a bad idea, but but at the same time, I just want to click it so bad. Okay, so I just went and I did my research, and what I found out was you can't actually play Flash normally anymore. You have to download these weird third-party apps. The one I found in this video was, uh... Supernova player, which, um, I really don't think I should download. Uh, there are just better ones that I could go with. So, if you guys want to see me make more videos of me playing old Flash games in the future, um, I could do that. I could also do other videos, like I could finish playing Bubsy 3D. I know at least some of you guys want me to do that. Or I could do something else. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want me to do, and I may or may not do it. Alright, last thing I want to say is, I'm sorry it took me so long to put this video out. My video editor enjoys to lag out quite a lot sometimes, and I just don't want to deal with that a lot, so I'm gonna try learning a new video editor. Just give me a little bit of time to learn how it works, and I promise I'll be uploading more frequently.